going on guys and we are back outside again on this saturday morning 5 58 a.m heading to the home depot look like we got a 51 dollar trip um it's saying 6 30 and 80 so the 80 should be the height the 30 should be the width and the 6 should be the length i think that's how it go right okay but anyway if the if the height is 80 I could just, you know, lay it on his back, push it up in here. I think we got, uh, I think we got 46. We got, we got, we got some width in here that we can get it up in there. Cause if it's, if the dimensions are correct, uh, Rody been not too good with the dimensions lately, uh, especially at Home Depot and that Black Friday yesterday. They was pretty, pretty trash. Uh, I don't know why they was doing that. Um, I had a couple of trips for Black Friday and they was putting 75 inch TVs under 70. I don't know why they was doing that. Maybe so they won't have to pay out huge and people won't call them and say, oh, this is a huge order, which it is. Uh, multiple TVs should be a huge order anyway. That's not gonna fit in the hatchback, like y'all say for extra large orders. Uh, Spark, was, <laughs> Spark wasn't no better either yesterday. Um, straight garbage. Oh man. Oh man. Only thing I'm gonna use Spark for is probably like shopping delivery. I, I think the pickup and dot com game is over for Spark guys. I mean, it's been straight up garbage. They had like yesterday, fourteen stops, twenty nine dollars. Couple of TVs in the mix. I mean, come on, Spark. Rody was a little better. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but Rody, um, you had to cross your fingers that they wasn't no no finesse stuff yesterday, which they was. Um, so you just had to cross your fingers. The line was crazy long. So you had to actually, uh, you know, get one of the associates like, hey man, you know what you think about this order? Is it 75? That's what I had to do yesterday at the Clinton store. Now the Walmart store, I mean, excuse me, the Wardoff store was moving quick as heck, quick as heck. Um, let me see. I'm here now. What is this? Uh, it's saying it's a left-handed insole premium hand just exterior door. Exterior door, 80 inch. I think we're gonna fit a door in here. All right, so I'm gonna get to y'all once we get the uh, the order from Home Depot. We got the order in the back. It's a door. Um, we figured out our max dimensions today, lift-wise. <laughs> that we could do. Um, if it's something similar to these uh, measurements, then we could put it up in here. Uh, I did write it down just in case. I, li I like to write down the measurements so I know next time if something similar come through, okay, that's a door. Okay, that's a refrigerator. Um, as y'all see from my last video, when I did the refrigerator, I know the dimensions, write it, wrote it down. Or now I memorize what is coming through so I know I can fit it in the RAV. Yes, I do have the van, but if I don't have to bring out the van, you know what? Let me let me say this, y'all. Only time I really gotta bring out the van if it's multiple doors or something. And if it's multiple doors, Rody is not paying and really not paying enough for it. To, you know, unless it's going like a mile, two miles, multiple heavy doors, forty five dollars. Y'all see how they got me with the water uh, heater stuff a day? Five water heaters for forty nine dollars wouldn't give me no more money, so I set them where I set them at. Um, <laughs> I'm not, if I can get fifty dollar orders like this one item, it, they're going in the rab. It's no point of starting up the van to be honest with you guys. Um, that's why the van haven't really been started up because really nothing out here that I feel as though it's worth me starting up the van and then just waiting for another dispatch order. By the time you do all that, I'd be up. 50 bucks up on lift and now i got a hundred dollar day going into nine o'clock you know like stuff like that um uh, you got to take that and uh think about stuff like that um also i don't know if we're going to do any walmarts today because yesterday was tragic guys we did get a couple of orders in but i had to swap a walmart went down water off they was moving pretty decent i lost two hours at clinton because um, my my crazy self wanted to be a uh, crash dummy 
and uh, test out the roadie block feature, which was garbage and super hard to cancel the block. Super hard, guys. It took me an hour to cancel the block. I waited 45 minutes for the order because I was like, okay. Okay. I know it's Black Friday. I know it's... uh. I know they're going to take a little while. I waited 45 minutes. It was a decent order that I first scraped up. It was three stops, $49 going five miles. So, you know, I was like, I'm going to wait for that. You know, I'm waiting for that. And then, then next thing you know, the block kicked in. Because I got it at Walmart, I think, 730. My block kicked in at 8 o'clock. So it just started sending me a rack of trash. It, like, did some deletion stuff of... Um, the, the three stops that I had, it did some crazy stuff. I, I was so heated. I was so heated, guys. Uh, I was just about to, like, delete Rody off the phone and let them sort out sort out my account afterwards. But then I was like, nah, I don't, I'm not trying to get deactivated. And they don't, they, you know, they won't take blame for what transpired because, you know, they don't have their app together. Okay, guys, I've never been right here before. Hold on, guys. Let's see. 18, 19. Is this it? Oh, no. Don't tell me it's the... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me it's that house with the dang on steps. It's not happening. I don't even got my dolly with me, guys. Which is my fault. But so what? <sighs> what is that 15 19 is 19 right? i knew goddamn well but this is what we about to do they got a garage right here right y'all getting straight garage action yeah i thought it was i thought i was gonna do some some something helpful but not helpful like that straight garage action 819 right here get your own crap guys Six, six. Uh, let me see where I could leave it at. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave it right here. They thought it was. See, Brody be trying. Nah, we just want to do right here. Pop that. I'm gonna catch out that I drop this off. Right, so I had to take some extra pictures because it was like orange scuffs up on the the door from the the Home Depot cart. Wasn't me. I picked it up. I put it up in there. I just took the extra pictures just in case Rody tried contact to say it was me. No, I'm not the one to put it up on the cart. It is what it is. The way I the way I lift that thing up. It wasn't no scrapes because I had to lift it up, put it on my car door, and then slide it in like that. So if it was would be a scrape, it would be like a uh, black interior scrape from my from this vehicle. But it wasn't me; it was a car scrape. So um, we going to turn on some lift. That's the plan. It's a game plan. I got a couple of look like dust particles from that um, they got a uh, they had a border around it so that's another thing I was using a border to slide it around they got like the plastic dust particle border on it I left it at their garage sent them a message say they wrote the order at the door I mean at the garage door I don't even care about no no tip unless it was going to be like a hundred dollar tip I should have recorded their stairs, but I'm on a one-way street. I just got up out of there. They got, if anybody familiar with Northwest and you see like one of these row houses, you have one of these row houses like with steps going all the way up. No sir, Bob, not about to get injured out here. I'm not about to be responsible for your door scraping up against one of them steps as I'm trying to bring it up there. Look, you're getting straight ground level. Sliding out this vehicle, straight ground level, leaning against your garage. Well, I ain't even leaning against a garage. You got a pole next to a garage, leaned it right there, made sure it was stable, took a picture, kept it moving. Don't go above and beyond, guys. I know 
people be trying to, you know, get tips and stuff, but if you scrape that item, you know, I learned this from Wayfair and stuff, guys. Like, we used to have to make them sign a waiver if they wanted us to do extra stuff because, okay, they asked you to do the extra stuff, and then you, you mess up, scrape their door or something, Guess what they gonna say? Oh, the driver damaged my door. Not say they they not gonna say. Oh, I told him to do an extra extra step. It's on you. So then you might lose your roadie account. You might lose your freight account or whatever dispatch account, dolly, whatever you use, because you know you're trying to get that extra tip, but the extra tip could cost you your account so keep that in mind so i'm gonna catch y'all if i do any more roadie but right now i'm gonna go on the lift street and just go drive uh try to get to 250 as quick as possible today that's the goal maybe 300 we out here today we're gonna be out here today so stay tuned all right we got our next order from lowe's a water heater one water heater 43 dollars and a little piece right there Keep trying to tell y'all, man, don't be a one-trick pony on these apps, man. I know the cool thing is to uh, hop up on YouTube and talk about DoorDash. Well, let me say cry about DoorDash. It's only a select few of uh, gig tubers that actually don't hop up on um, this YouTube thing and start crying about DoorDash and these other apps, man, and figure out a solution. $43 right there. We did that uh 50, what was that? $51 trip about an hour ago. This gonna take us about um I wanna say I wanna say 25 minutes to drop off because yeah, 25 minutes to drop off because it's gonna go down Dirk Kirk and uh we good to go. And we did do an eight dollar trip up on um Lyft. So uh like I said earlier this week, my prediction is the freight is going to pick up, meaning like uh, stuff like this, water heaters, snow blowers, um, doors, people, you know, like to change out their doors and the ceilings and stuff, uh, Christmas gifts, stuff like that. So make sure you got some type of freight app, man. Uh, I see some uh couple of trips or point pickup too that i might end up taking it's a couple of tvs i might go ahead and stack stack those so that'll be about another 50 dollars right there i don't know depending on how far i am from um that walmart i was looking at so catch eye to stop all right look like we doing decent um after we drop this all look like we gonna hit a hundred dollars in two hours and 28 minutes outside which is decent, guys. Very decent. I think this is the house of pass. So let me go ahead, back up in there, driveway, drag this out. We don't do no extra unless y'all got some big money for us, but that's all they get. As y'all see, that was an easy drop off. Dropped it off at the garage, knocked on his door, got a quick signature, took the picture, put the paperwork in the box, and the other little item on top of the box that came with it. And uh, now we do have on Lyft. Try to get up out of here with Lyft, but probably not gonna happen. Cause this, this over here, they're really not a ride share area over here. Um, usually these people got cars on horseback. It's like, nah, uh, <laughs> these people usually got cars. This is like a rural area. They do have a Walmart down here that I was thinking about taking an order from, but then it would have basically kept me down here in the area until I would have found something to get up out of here. Nah, then it was a tractor supply order that I was playing around with. Let's just say that I probably could have fit it up in here, but I was just, um, being super cautious that somebody snatched it. it was $45 would have took us back to where we needed to go at but 
I don't know, track supply a little bit and funny. It's, it's kind of funny with the measurements and stuff. And then sometimes they be saying, bring a trailer. Um, I guess they use forklifts and stuff to, you know, just to pop it on there. If I would have had the van, it's another order on here too. That been on here since yesterday. Um, it's probably gonna go up in, um, in, in the funds department. It's probably gonna go up in the funds department in a second because it got all the way up to like $89 yesterday, last time I checked on it. It's at 71 right now. Um, depending on how this freight thing go, I might bring out Big Yellow today because the freight, the freight is kind of uh, coming, booming through the phone right now. So, I don't know. Well, catch y'all later on in the day. Let y'all know what I've been up to. I do.